Welcome to the Deliciously Simple Food Channel. I'm Shelly, and I would love it if you came and cooked with me today. Come on! Hi, and a very warm welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're making mac and cheese. I used to eat copious amounts of mac and cheese as a kid, and one of the things that was hardest to give up when going plant-based was cheese, and I had to think about how am I gonna get the same taste of cheese? How am I even gonna eat mac and cheese? And so I had to create a new sort of cheese recipe uh, from nutritional yeast. So we're gonna be making mac and cheese today, vegan style, uh, with nutritional yeast. And we're gonna be using a casareche pasta, a durum pasta, and that's what we're gonna be making today. So let's talk about what's all on here, because not only are we gonna be making mac and cheese uh, with casareche pasta, but we're also gonna be making sort of a air fried mushrooms to add to the mac and cheese and sort of sprinkle on a little bit of garnish on top. So this is gonna be sort of gourmet mac and cheese for the adult taste, but kids are gonna love it too. So let's talk about what we have going on here. So we have mushrooms, we have um, soy milk, two cups of soy milk, we have a full pack of casareche pasta, we have a quarter cup of cashews, we also have a half a cup of chickpeas, we have a third of a cup of nutritional yeast, in addition to one eighth of a cup of nutritional yeast, and we've got a ton of spices to add to the cheese sauce. And for the actual uh, mushrooms, we're also gonna be making a little bit of sort of a seasoned mushrooms in the air fryer today. So let's get this pasta into the pot and start boiling, and then we'll be making our mac and cheese sauce. All right, now that our pasta is boiling in plain water, no oil or salt added to the water, let's get started making our mac and cheese sauce. And we're gonna make it in this blender and I'll talk about the ingredients as we go along. So the first set of ingredients to go in the mac and cheese sauce is two cups of soy milk. And so the two cups of soy milk, we just wanna pour into here, into the blender. And I like to make it right into the blender itself. And that way I don't have to sort of dirty more dishes than I actually need to use. So we got two cups of soy milk. And like I mentioned earlier, we got one third cup of nutritional yeast and an additional one eighth cup of nutritional yeast. And all the ingredients for this mac and cheese sauce will be in the description below. So you can just click on the link and go directly to the recipe. So we're gonna put our nutritional yeast in here. And the nutritional yeast is really what's gonna give it sort of that yellow cheesy flavor. It's also gonna give it that sort of like cheesy sort of taste. Now, to get the texture right of cheese, we're gonna be using one quarter cup of unsalted, unroasted cashews. And so we're just gonna throw that in here. And then we also have a half a cup of chickpeas. And so we're gonna throw that in here as well. That provides sort of the texture for the cheese. Now, for the cheese then, we're gonna need a little bit of a salty flavor, and then we're also gonna need a little bit of that sort of silky sort of smooth taste that you normally get when eating cheese. And so for that salty flavor, we have miso paste. And so we have one cup, sorry, not one cup, one tablespoon of miso paste in here that we're gonna use. And that tablespoon of miso paste is gonna add that salty flavor and miso, is really gonna add a little bit of sort of a, an umami flavor to the, uh, uh, the cheese sauce that we have going on here. So now that we have our miso paste in here, we need to add a tablespoon of olive oil for that sort of silky, smooth taste that you normally get when eating mac and cheese. And so one tablespoon of olive oil goes right in here just like that. Now. The rest of the ingredients are based on sort of your personal taste. So we're gonna start off with onion powder. We have one teaspoon of onion powder. And then we're gonna have one teaspoon of garlic powder. And that garlic flavor to the cheese is always great to mix garlic and cheese together. Um, that's why pizzas do so well. 
and so many other ingredients with garlic and cheese do so well. You also have a teaspoon of black pepper in here. And so let's put a teaspoon of black pepper for a little bit of that spicy kick. We don't want to, um, you know, not have a little bit of a spicy kick. And then we have a teaspoon of salt. The last two ingredients are primarily for look and also for a little bit of, um, you know, uh, more of a gourmet style taste. And we have a one quarter teaspoon of turmeric. We don't want to use more than a quarter teaspoon of turmeric because turmeric is quite strong and quite pungent. So it's going to take over the whole entire thing here if you put too much of turmeric. And then we also have a quarter teaspoon of coriander in here. And that's just to give it a little bit of a flavor, a little bit of a gourmet flavor in your mac and cheese sauce. And that's it. That's how we make this mac and cheese sauce. I'm gonna go over here and get it onto our um, Ninja blender here. We're gonna blend it up and then we're gonna pour it out so you can see what our mac and cheese sauce looks like. Our mac and cheese sauce is done. Now look at that cheese sauce as it comes out. Look at the color. Look at all of the different textures that you can see in that cheese sauce. It's absolutely amazing. Now that our cheese sauce is made and our pasta is on the stove, and we're gonna cook that till it's al dente so that we can finish up the cooking of the pasta with the cheese sauce itself. Now we're gonna turn our attention to the mushrooms in front of me, these giant portobello mushrooms, and we're gonna do air fried mushrooms. And so one of the first things we're gonna do with these mushrooms is cut them up in quarters because they're ginormous. And so we wanna make sure that these mushrooms um, can actually fit into our air fryer and not only that they can fit into our air fryer, that it's bite-sized pieces um, that we can actually eat. Now, what I forgot to do was take off the stems of these mushrooms. Now, I'm not gonna throw away these stems. I can use these stems in a stir fry. I can use these stems um, in so many other dishes, but for this particular dish, I wanna make it without the stems. And so I'm gonna put these stems in a Ziploc bag here and then store them in the fridge so when I'm ready to use these mushroom stems in a stir fry or something else, I can easily just take it out and chop it and we're ready to go. So we're gonna cut these huge mushrooms up in quarters and then we're gonna put it in the air fryer. But before we put it in the air fryer, we're gonna season it up with some seasoning and then, then put it in the air fryer. So we have seasoned air fried mushrooms and it's spectacular. I love eating this mushrooms, especially since it's air fried. I don't know what it is about eating, you know, fried mushrooms that I think is so good, but it is fantastic. So I've got my mushrooms cut up here and let's bring in so you can see what's gonna go into these mushrooms. So in this mushrooms, we have half a teaspoon of salt. We have half a teaspoon of black pepper. We also have half a teaspoon of onion powder and we have half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a little bit of Italian seasoning. So whatever your Italian, your favorite Italian seasoning is, you can add that in there and it's gonna taste absolutely fantastic. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of olive oil Now let's go ahead and give this mushrooms a stir. So we just wanna stir up all the ingredients into the mushrooms itself. And so the mushroom is coated in a little bit of oil and all the ingredients. Now, don't worry about if the actual uh, oil from the mushrooms is absorbed into the mushrooms, it's okay. Once the mushroom is heated, then the oil is gonna sort of start to pop and is gonna sort of fry the mushrooms here that we have going on. So I have about half a tablespoon of, of olive oil in here in these mushrooms. And 
When you're done, your mushrooms should look like that. Now that we've seasoned up our mushrooms, let's go ahead and get our mushrooms into the tray for the air fryer and put it in the air fryer over there. Now it's gonna be eight minutes on each side. So we're gonna put it on one side, then it's gonna beep. We're gonna take the tongs and flip the mushrooms again and put it on for another eight minutes on the other side. And so we're gonna get that started. Then we're gonna strain the pasta because the pasta is ready. And then from there, we're gonna actually make the mac and cheese and plate up. So we've strained our pasta and I put a little bit of olive oil after I strained it so that way it doesn't stick together. Just a tad bit so that way it just coats it and so it keeps it nice and loose. We also have our cheese sauce here, our mac and cheese sauce. And I, I got a little bit of green onions in here as a garnish to put in our mac and cheese. Now, I've already given our mushrooms a little bit of a turn. I took it out, turned it, put it back in for another eight minutes. So let's get cooking this mac and cheese and let's plate up. We've plated up our mac and cheese and look at this beautiful dish. It is spectacular. Garnished with some mushrooms and garnished with a little bit of green onions here. This mac and cheese looks fabulous and it absolutely is gonna taste fabulous. So let me dig in because I've been dying to dig into this. Mac and cheese is another one of those great meals for me that's a comfort meal. So when I think I've been healthy all week long, this is one of those meals that I can eat that's like, oh, this is so good. And it reminds me of the original mac and cheese that I used to eat way back in the day. Only it's way better, way healthier, and jam-packed full of B12 with this nutritional yeast. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. It's good, so good. Let me try these mushrooms. Hmm. Oh, this. This mac and cheese with the, with the mushrooms and the onions, it's like heaven on a plate. Honestly, it is that good. It's so amazing. You've got to try this recipe and I've put the link down in the description below. So if you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Ciao.